welcome on back to Basis Claims, our casual conversational comedy podcast. My name is Tay, comma, unmedicated. My name is Tori Gamer Thompson. Uh, my name is Tyler, uh, Santa Recruit, Ohio State. So the Game Awards just happened, and we got all <laughs> kinds of crazy trailers, gang. I know we're all excited for that one. You know the big one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really excited for Crab Hero 3. Um, yep, I thought the trailer for that looked one. really neat. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, Crab Hero 1 and 2, like, really set a good foundation for what Crab Hero 3 can be. Despite it only being, like, a pre-rendered trailer, like, I'm still pretty hyped for it. I thought the Kojima one was really weird, just out of, like, he hooks you up to an EKG monitor. Like, you play the game through an EKG monitor, and, like, mm-hmm. your heart rate determines... Uh, how you perform in the game. It's it's like it's highly interactive, and he did finally make the first real life if you come, you lose game. Yeah, which is gonna be really hard because it's also got dick haptic. However, there is one trailer that I think a lot of people missed um for a new game, and I thought, you know what? I have a great segment on my podcast where I go through the the concept barrage of marketing to find the latest, greatest products and services that are out there. So I decided to bring my very first video game based ad nauseum. Oh, okay. I, I was going to say, how are you going to tie this into an ad nauseum if it's a trailer? But I guess trailers are just kind of ads, right? That's exactly right, Tay. Now, Uh-oh. I've actually brought some stuff to go along with this. Um, so, <laughs> Tyler. Could we start with uh, the first clip? Uh, yep, absolutely. Here we go. They want us to eat the bugs. They want us to live in a pod. They want us to be gay. And I say, no, never will I bow to Satan. This is a war on our souls, a war on God. Is this the new Bug Snacks? Is that Bug Snacks too? <laughs> oh, so <laughs> a, close, Tyler. That's a crazy pivot. Wait, what the fuck is this? I'm glad you asked. Uh, this is the New World Order Wars, Alex Jones's brand new retro style 16 bit shooting shoot 'em up video game. That's not a thing you made up. This is a real product. This is a real product that you can go buy. You know, it's actually on sale right now. So, funnily enough, the original price that this game goes for is uh, 2024. But right now, does anyone want to guess what it's on sale for? 1488. 19. <laughs> nope. Damn. Wrong. It costs 1776, baby. Hey, These go. colors don't run. Ah, put, a, put an eagle screech in there. So what's yeah, the point this, of this game? Like, that, what is well, this game? I, I think I think we could all sort of understand what the point of this game is, and it's to make Alex some money. Uh, number one, first and foremost. <laughs> yeah. Why go uh, just with a have, video game though? I feel like there are much easier ways so, to make money. <laughs> that's a very. I, I think the reason that he decided to go with a video game, and he made it very like it's it's very it's it's interesting because it's very edgy in a way that's not Alex Jones edgy. Now it's not edgy in this weird fringe like crazy political sense it's edgy and he's leaning into his like mimetic moments and trying to capitalize on getting i think the edgy kind of gamer audience who's maybe like i don't give a fuck about the left right paradigm i'm way above it oh alex jones is a banned person well you know what i'm gonna go buy this game because i don't play by the rules like they're trying to go for that edgy sort of thing so it's less a game about Infowars and more a game about Alex Jones. Yeah, you. So the, yes, your main character. You play as Alex Jones, the main character, That's and he does so, all the voicing okay. and stuff. I'm, but you can I'm tell how, on board now. <laughs> you can tell how much of a cash grab this game is because just on the opening, like the homepage of the website, which I'm not going to read because I don't want people to buy this. Uh, <laughs> there are six buy now buttons just on the homepage. <laughs> Yeah, and they're each accompanied by a by a fucking fantastic edgy little quote of like who you gonna be beaten. Oh my god. Is yeah. this on uh, really is cool. this on Steam? Can I get this on a PS5 yeah, is this, maybe? Is this on well, major platforms? I was I was wondering if you guys wanted to understand a little bit more. So, I thought maybe we could kind of listen to the trailer to give you a sense of what the sort of game is going to be like here. First came Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and Super Mario Brothers. And now, the ultimate retro nostalgia throwback game. I present to the world, Alex Jones's New World Order Wars. They're turning the friggin' frogs game. I'll eat your ass. 
you Nazi scum! Let's free the Patriots and defeat the globalist tech team. We are going to defeat the globalists yes. very bigly. Yes. <laughs> this game is mostly peaceful. Woo! Ah! I'm going to lower the world's population. <laughs> oh, big deal. I'm taking you down, rapist. I did not have sexual relations with that saxophone. <laughs> Download it now at AliceJonesGame.com because as we all know, anything badass gets censored. <laughs> this is okay. Okay. Well, this might be the greatest game of all time. <laughs> I was worried one of you would have that opinion. Holy shit. This has oh my very God. high potential. This has extremely high potential. Oh if they God. add a Donald Trump DLC, I will be playing. If, oh, if so that's an unlockable little, skin. Let me tell you a little bit more about this game, if I could. So we know now that it's a 2D side-scrolling shooter, sort of, I guess, like Mega Man style or whatever. You know, that that kind of style. You can shoot left, left right, up. Uh, mm -hmm. Your main character is a jacked version of Alex with kind of a Rambo sort of. What do you look mean a jacked him. version? That's just him. Let's more of like a uh, like Alex's head now on his body from when he was like twenty. Oh, okay. Because like I gotta hand it to the man; he was pretty jacked back then. Now he's fat as fuck. No, that's a bodysuit, Tori. He's just lying <laughs> to you because the globalists <laughs> want you to think he's not jacked. Sure. So. Uh, I've watched through more of this game than I wish I have and more than anyone else should. And I always wanted to go over some of the types of enemies that you're facing throughout the different levels. Ooh, can we guess? If you'd like to. Okay. One of the staple enemies, 100%, is a blue-haired pronoun haver. I, I... It might get a little brutal if you were killing people in the game. It might go oh, a little... Fair. Might go a little far, but I know one of those enemies is a gay frog. I know one mm -hmm. of those enemies is a gay frog. You're actually both correct. So in the first level, Hell you're fighting yeah. gay frogs. In about, I don't know, like the fifth level or so, you are literally fighting libtards in San Francisco. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. He's so, he's uh, got a brand is, and he knows how to stick with it. He like, is this such is a good just, fucking marketer. This is marketer. a step under a Kojima game, to be quite honest. With honestly, you. I think it's above, better. Level. <laughs> I think whatever he and Jordan Peele are cooking, they looked at this trailer because Jeff Keighley was censoring Alex Jones by not allowing this sure. at the Game Awards. Uh -huh, sure. Fuck you, fun. Jeff Keighley. But <laughs> Kojima and Jordan Peele looked at this afterwards when he announced this, and they're like, fuck. fuck. That's, <laughs> what the fuck are we doing Just with... What's her nuts and Hunter Schaefer? We got nothing going on here. The it girl and then Hunter Schaefer. We got nothing here. We don't have gay frogs fighting. Imagine, imagine if they hadn't censored it though, and you're watching the game awards and like someone just won like um the, the best art direction and they were like, wrap it up. We don't really want to talk about this. You know, like hurry it up. We want to get to the next trailer. And then it was just boom, world premiere. And then it was this trailer. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been fucking crazy? It would have been absolutely, like, the most talked about thing on the internet for probably, like, two or three months. Yeah. So the, some of the other types of enemies that we're going to be seeing in this game outside of those two are big tech Liz nerds. <laughs> and the best part about this is that they are holding giant hammers that say thought police on them. Oh. He's so good at this. He's, he's literally, like, nailing it. Because, like, Liz nerds? That's fucking perfect. It's really good. <laughs> like, not yeah. also, he's so good at just insulting people because not all, not only is he saying, like, you run the world, you're a globalist, you're in control of everything, but even mm -hmm. after all of that, at the end of the day, I'm still going to call you a huge fucking dork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, another one is uh, the enemies are mad scientists that are holding M mRNA vaccines. Oh, mm -hmm. good, good. And then the other, like, some of the other ones are pretty simple. You're going to fight Bill Clinton. You're going to fight George Soros. Yeah, yep. simple. Those are probably, like, the boss levels, you know, where, like, Bill Clinton is, like, you know, like, throwing out, like... Uh, yeah, mini boss, actually. Bill oh, Clinton, mini boss. Bill you Clinton, mini boss. that, yeah. like, as a, as a surprise factor and not spoil that for the trailers. It just makes you think, what do they actually have in the game that, like... They want you to experience. I'll tell you what they have. They have Barack Obama as like in like an Eggman flying saucer launching drones at you. 
That's what and they his, should have. Not and that his, I saw. That's coming in the DLC. His his design Fuck. is a little sus, but <laughs> his, we won't get it. Well, he's got like he's he's like throwing out like he also like after his drones run out, he's like throwing a bunch of decoy birth certificates at you, so you slip on the floor. It's like kind of like an oil <laughs> mechanic. It makes the floor slippery. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's Alex Jones. Like you're fighting the globalists, and the globalists yeah. is just the whitewashed uh, catchphrase that they use when they mean Jewish. True, but true. there are good things about this game. Like, oh, for please, one, enlighten there are, us. Well, you know Tay, sung- it's a shorter game made by people who make more money to work less. There you go. There is no Alex culture. You're putting right. his fucking money where his mouth is. <laughs> Look, I guess respect where respect is due, but we'll see how far it goes after this next part. You know Alex, how insert- Alex really said, be the change you want to see in the world. He's going to change gaming culture. I don't even... Huh. My joking about this can only go so far because of the deep hatred I hold for the man, but there's power-ups in games sometimes that give you... Um, like, maybe someone will pop on screen to help you for a little bit and be your fighting um, your, your partner or whatever. Yes, yeah, uh-huh. It's Donald Trump, and yes. he's wearing a cape. He's wearing a cape? He looks like a superhero. Wait, is this is this the, the Ben Garrison version of Donald Trump? Again, that's the real version. <laughs> the fat version you see is the one made by globalist libtards who want to make you think that they aren't fucking ripped, and they are. Yeah, it's a, it's a skinwalker. <laughs> I was going to say, you mean the one that we see on live camera? <laughs> yeah, well, they say the camera adds 200 pounds. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have ever listened to Alex Jones, but he seems to think Trump looks really strong and really defiant and really uh, almost like a superhero. They're so delusional. Hey, look. Yeah. There ain't nothing gay about calling your bro hot, That's, okay? Thank and you And Alex knows that. it. Now, there's there's other power-ups in this game, too, that have nothing to do with Trump. That's a great one. Very fun. Very cool. Oh, by the way, <laughs> the Trump person, uh, whoever they got to do, like, the fake Trump voice or whatever, does compliment Alex by name a lot while he's with you. You're so great, Alex. I love you. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, straight up, like, yeah. You look very strong today, Alex. It's like a fucking <laughs> child's representation of, like, Mega Man or something, where it's just, yeah, like... Yeah, 100%. <laughs> like, oh... Uh, what? Huh? I saved you this time, Mega Man, didn't I? Wow! Thanks, Johnny. You're the coolest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like it's, that. It is. It's a hundred percent that. Alex is doing what every fucking OC artist is doing online by True. like, whoa! You're so much hotter in your avatar than you are in real life. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's other power ups in the game, of course, because you know they gotta have something to keep it interesting. Gotta vary it up by level. Uh, the power ups that you get in the game, however are just the pills and supplements that Alex sells at his Yes! Website. Oh, my yeah. God. Every stage of this is so unironically well-made. So, so you're well not, marketed. You're not getting a fire flower or whatever. You're getting super male vitality. Outside of the connotation of, like, these products being just shams and Alex Jones as a person, you gotta mm-hmm. hand it to the consistency of the branding. Like His it brand is, integration. It is iconically perfect. Well, that's the, that's the thing that I, I don't know if you guys understand this because you, you aren't weirdly obsessed with Alex Jones the way I am, <laughs> but his show literally only exists as a giant commercial to sell oh, yeah. supplements and storable food. Yeah. He's he's sense. shop that's HQ, it. but with some funny little with some funny but little ramblings thrown in between. <laughs> you say funny st- well, you know what? I'll give it to you uh, to each their own. It's uh it can be funny. Um So wait, hold on. There's something I want to I want to slide in here before we move on too much. So okay. this is a video game, very clearly. Yeah. Which means that there is now a non zero percent chance that Alex Jones could be in a future Smash Brothers game. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas before, Joining the fight! Actually, <laughs> Alex Jones! It was actually zero percent because uh-huh. he's never been in a video game, but now that he has, that's on the table. I just yeah. wish it was like. I wish it was the the fucking brawl one where they had the little like character intros on the shitty Wii remote speaker because it'd be like. Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And 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 that's yeah, you actually can go get this on the Nintendo eShop right now. 
No shot. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh my god, you gave me a heart attack. But it is on yeah. the Wii News channel. They do have it as the featured story on the Wii News channel. Yeah, they love that there. So the ultimate final boss of the game, spoiler alert, you know, skip ahead 15 seconds if you don't want to know the final boss. It's an all-powerful globalist. Oh man. Okay. But I can go with it that. It looks exactly big- like the depiction of Satan. It's a sp- oh, red, okay. it's I was red spikes, ask- fl- fire, the whole thing. I was gonna ask how big their nose was. Maybe you're the racist one. No, 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 no. I am very. I'm only Alex asking, is like, Why the hell did you say questions. that? <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> Alex Jones seems like the kind of guy who thinks he's being sly and subtle by making those kind mm-hmm. of character designs when it's just like the most clearly obvious bullshit we've ever seen. Yeah. So that's that's why I yeah. ask. <laughs> yeah. So just in order to do my due diligence on this, the final thing I wanted to do was check out some reviews of the game. People who have done, you know. There's, there's something for every video game of reviews what, and stuff for it. There's not a review embargo on this? <laughs> no, IGN no, no. gave it a 10. IGN 100% <laughs> gave it a 10. Yeah, they were big fans of that one. Uh, so I went to YouTube.com and I typed in what I needed to type in and uh, found a video from The Quartering. I don't know if you've ever heard of this individual. Oh, God damn it. Oh, so lame. Now, this, this gentleman starts the review by playing the trailer in its entirety and then comes on the screen and goes, Alex Jones, friend of the show. He's been on the show a couple times. He's actually a fan of the show from what I'm told. Oh my and God. And then proceeded to hint that I don't necessarily agree with San- what he said about Sandy Hook, but Alex already said that he was wrong. He already said that he was wrong, okay? It's, it's okay. He already said that he was wrong after he was getting sued. He didn't say that part, but... Yeah. But yeah, so he, he, he proceeded to like, now listen, I know some people got thoughts about Alex Jones, but... And then defends Alex Jones and then gives him a bunch of compliments. I, I was going to ask, does he actually even talk about the game or is it just like he Alex actually Jones, did, Alex I did, Jones? He, here's the thing. I couldn't watch the entire review because I would have killed myself on the spot. <laughs> but I did. Okay. I was skipping around and it, he didn't actually seem to play the video game at all. Oh. Here's what he went on to say. Uh, he went on to say, now, the entire video game industry is about to crumble because of what... What I have now is Ooh. going to change the game forever. And mm-hmm. then he proceeds to once again watch the trailer, only this time his little head is in the corner giving review, and he's watching it on a uh, a Twitter feed instead of uh, like playing the nice. video in a good quality. So wait, and then wait, I stopped. Wait. wait, 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 wait. He plays the trailer twice in the same video? Yeah. Why? What if he would have gone through the trailer? What if, like... Uh, uh, all the things about Alex complimenting Alex. You know, I hear Alex even likes me, all that stuff. And then end of the end of these, like, now let's get to the review. I only played five minutes. Game is too woke for me. It had a woman in it, like, right away. It's fucking woke bullshit. Like, what if he was like, the Alex Jones game is too woke? Yeah, I I mean, it's it, it, the, the level that this guy was at, it's like almost not even, it's beyond parody. Yeah. So he's catering yeah. to his audience. They're all fucking ghouls, dude. Yeah, so I'm I'm very happy that I got to present you guys with Alex Jones' New World Order I, Wars. I do have to say, this is uh-huh. the best ad nauseum you've brought to us. So very, I very, agree. very thankful on that end. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, Here. you are what? Hey, hey, everyone out there, hey. Hey, you're yeah. welcome. Yeah, thanks. I know what I'm doing when we hang. You said it's out now. I know what I'm doing. Out now for the the low. <clears throat> By the way, the game's only to my from the guy I watched play it. It's only about a 45-minute game. Ah, uh, and it's so, $17? Se- uh, 1776, thank you very Sorry, much. Sorry, 1776. So hey, is there tax on that? But... Yeah, with tax, it's probably 18. Is there tax? Otherwise, he's a fucking poser. If there's a tax on that, he's a poser. That's true. But, yeah, that's actually a good point. That does go very much against his sort of idea. I don't want to but... pay taxes. Even I'm not paying taxes on my video games. Why? Is the government trying to watch me play games? Bullshit. Uh, look, we're, it's, we're we're in the we're in the holly jolly festive season right now. Oh, don't and, we know it? And here's here's what I'm trying to do. I saw a snippet of Shark Tank, and there was a man on that episode of Shark Tank whose company is that he is buying up all of the Santas in the United States, putting them under one umbrella, so that you can go hire Santa Claus, and it always comes from him. He's got a downline of Santa Clauses uh, mm-hmm. all across the contiguous U.S. 
that sure. you can hire. And he runs this thing called a Santa class. There's Santa Ooh. etiquette class that you have to do in order to be in his downline. And it looked in the episode of Shark Tank fucking insane. And I fucking love it because there are, I'm joining this class. I think I have what it takes to be America's next top Santa. I think I can really, <laughs> I, I think I can really go for it. Like, <clears throat> all right, hear me out, hear me out. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Check this. <clears throat> Ho, ho, ho. I thought I might put, right. like, a new kind of, like, spin okay. on it. Like, kind of make, like, sure. my own. Well, isn't the, isn't the whole idea that uh, they need to be consistent between Santas, like, under a unified brand? Yeah, but I kind of so like, like doing my own you, thing, you know? Right, but you doing your own thing is, like, antithetical to what we're doing here. So why don't you just try reading it like it is written, um, and we'll go from there. Yeah, okay, uh, I guess. Um I just feel like you're taking away a lot of my like no, uh, I totally artistic understand. value it's in this. Just, it's just for the interview process. Once we get you through that, then you can start being your own personal Santa. This okay. is just to get you on board to start. So Do I have to kiss be. anyone in these rehearsals? Yes. Uh, n- not in the <laughs> rehearsals, but... Hey, uh, intern. Hey, intern, be quiet for now. Yeah, you hey, do actually. Intern, no, I'm the hiring sh- manager. Shut the fuck. Shut up. Shut the fuck. Yeah, you do have, you have to kiss me. New guy, come kiss me. Okay, okay. So, like, do you imagine, like, what's my motivation for this? Do you think Santa, like, when he's kissing, do you think Santa plants wet ones? Or do you think he just goes, like, the full lip extension smooch? I think... Santa sucks tongue. Wow. Santa gives it as much tongue as, as, as he could give it. <laughs> Santa's, always, Santa's always throwing wet ones. You ever seen mm-hmm. that man smash milk and cookies? It's a fuck. There's so much saliva. Oh my god! Imagine yeah. kissing someone with that kind of milk breath, dude. Homie, like with that the amount, like homie is Joey Chestnut on those cookies. It's crazy. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, he is he is Kobayashi. <laughs> just he has to wet the entire cookie and then slide it down his gullet. That's impressive. I'd love he's to see got that man really work. Is. A very limited amount of time in each household. When you think about it, he's he's so short on time that. The amount of cookies he's eating, he would feasibly have to Joey Chestnut style, like, yes. put them all in, dunk the milk, and then, like, that's why you always, like, there's so much, like, careful when you come down the stairs on Christmas morning, because there's so many opportunities to slip over all the milk <laughs> Santa left all over the fucking floor. See, what, yeah. what Santa's, like, uh, I think people have theorized about this, but I think what Santa does is when he enters someone's home... He grabs the cookies and puts them in the cup of milk to, like, let them soak for a bit while he, like, unloads the presents. It's more of an efficiency thing. And then uh, once he's done getting all the presents under the tree, the cookies have softened up enough where he can just swallow them without chewing. And I think that's how he does it. I'd hope they're soft enough by then. That's, like, 15 minutes. (laughs) I don't know why, but I just imagine Santa's a huge fucking asshole and in, like, ADA households where they've got, like, the thing that goes up the stairs for people that need, like, the wheelchair accessibility. He, like, flicks it off when he's at the bottom of the stairs and then just, like, or, gets the fuck out. Or he moves out. it to the bottom so they can Yeah, that's exactly... <laughs> he moves it. He's a fucking asshole. Ho, ho, ho. He doesn't move it all the way one or the other. It's just right in the middle. <laughs> Santa has to have some sort of fun on this night. In today's modern age, there's got to be some rascally kids that leave out weed cookies for Santa, right? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Fuck. Do you think they're lacing those cookies with Fent? Oh, <laughs> Santa's got some Fent. Santa's a little I'm tripping goofy balls. tonight. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, boy. I don't know. I feel a little too anxious to go into that <laughs> chimney for some reason. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm scared. Oh, 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 if I do stop thinking about breathing, I will die. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm very aware of my own heartbeat. <laughs> oh, 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 Rudolph, slow down. Oh, 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 oh. I'm tripping balls. Uh, let me, let me talk you through a little bit of what they uh, do at these, uh, at these big Santa retreats. Number one, got to have what they call, quote, your big entrance. Mm-hmm. You got to walk in and you got to learn to embody Santa Claus right away. Big entrance, open the trench coat, oh. fully naked <laughs> okay, underneath. Yeah. I was going to say, you were just going to do like the... Yeah, 
just John Cena. <laughs> He's like going in front of the kids doing you can't see me and like five finger fucking slamming them down. Yeah, Santa, you know, Santa, Santa famous for being seen when he gets there. Of course. Famous for a big entrance. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. you know, I love delivering presents everywhere, but my favorite place to visit on Christmas night, Suplex City. <laughs> he <just> fucking <laughs> slams you. <laughs> the, the next thing you need to know to be Santa is... I don't know why they call it this, but <laughs> crowd work. Yeah, <laughs> that's another famous trait do, of his. <laughs> do some, do a fucking tight five as Santa <laughs> with your work in the fucking crowd. Like, hey, hey, uh, you, you in the front row. Where do you work? Yeah, where are you from? <laughs> I know I see you, you when you're sleeping, but that doesn't geolocate you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, look at look at look at this guy with his girlfriend over here. She's she's like, why'd you bring me to another shitty comedian show? Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> uh, we like to have fun here. Now here at this comedy show, we're not worried about getting canceled. Am I right? <laughs> I hope no one in the crowd is woke because oh, you're in for a rough night here. Uh, I don't deliver. I don't deliver presents to black neighborhoods. <laughs> they're just too dangerous to. We were, they're too dangerous to fly how to. How long it would take us to like circle around that joke? <laughs> uh, the next one, the next piece you got to know is Christmas hopes and dreams. Hmm. You got to be fully ready to give out Christmas hopes and dreams with what they call afterwards. Big finish. I feel like there's a better way that's to say a, that. There's, there's a much better way. Yeah, to like there's a better way to say that. Grand finale. There's, like, come on. Yeah. I, even then, it just seems like uh, maybe it's us, but like, <laughs> I don't like the idea of Santa being like, "Oh ho ho!" Now it's ready for my big finish. Yeah. How about the mega complete? <laughs> uh, mega. Complete. Uh, is that really? Is that really how we want to? Like, I was sitting on your lap earlier. I don't like that. I was sitting on you, and now you're saying, "Whoa, ho, ho, big finish coming, coming in." I've been holding Huge. it in all day. <laughs> no, Huge you done. don't understand. You kids ever heard of edging? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I know they call it my workshop, but Santa's got to get back to his goon cave. <laughs> <laughs> They're lying to you. It is more than once a year. <laughs> I, I just, I, I, I think there's two big parts of the classes here that are the worst part, which is one in the Shark Tank episode, they had like a table full of 50 Santas doing the one segment of the class where you have to learn to laugh like Santa. So it's a bunch of old dudes all like three, two, oh, no. one. Ha, 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 ha. All laughing in like direct unison while like looking at the camera, and it's like this is deeply unsettled. Like it also, it also r r like shows you the very sensitive nature of like I don't feel like I should be seeing two Santas at one yeah. time, and especially when I'm seeing fifty of them. Was there something's <laughs> off? Was there a part of you that was worried that it was gonna awaken something inside you? Like oh fuck, now I got oh, a multi fuck. Santa king, <laughs> multi Santa. Fuck. Now I wow, now I want now I want all these Chris Kringles to run a sleigh on me. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, hell yeah, Tori, you you get the gold star uh, of the episode. Oh, uh, and uh, on top of laughing like Santa, you also uh, I didn't know this was a part of being Santa, but I guess at this company it is in South Lake Texas. Uh, you have to sing. You got to be oh. a good fucking... So on top of being Santa, you also got to fucking go on American Idol, I guess. You got to impress... Big, that's going to narrow the casting I by really a lot. Like, like not, Right? They're like, no, 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 no. Mm. Unless you can hit the... F unless you can do your fucking scales like Ariana Grande, we don't fucking want you here, okay? Santa's got to have fucking vocal cords, <laughs> all right? Santa's got pipes. Yeah. You have got to fucking... Work it if you're gonna be Santa. You gotta like Mariah Carey, like all I want for Christmas. Falsetto yeah, and like, everything. Like, mm -hmm. like hand up to the ear, eyes closed. Can they rap? That's a great question. Maybe the urban Santas can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
But not our Santas. That's for other Santas that look different. Act different. It is in Texas, so. Are different. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm just saying, if we're establishing, like, one nation, like, the North Pole should maybe be a little more segregated. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh. I'm not throwing out the term ethnostate, but... <laughs> we're, we're crossing the Alex Jones streams here now. I think our brains got twisted somewhere here. I'm just saying, why can't they go to the South Pole? There's a whole nother pole. If you don't like it, leave. <laughs> I'll help you back. <laughs> I go around the entire world in one night, and I can tell you the areas that are the most dangerous. <laughs> He'd probably want to live on the South Pole, actually. He'd want to start his own... Uh, libertarian retreat on the South Pole and, like, always be claiming how, like, oh, the South Pole will rise again. The elves unionized. The North Pole sucks now. <laughs> oh, I can't no. get away with pain. Bringing then. elves into this is gonna bring, is gonna make it very real, so we need to get out. All right, fine. So for, for our fun Christmas cheer here, let's, let's bring this back to a place where everything is gonna be super, super positive and nothing could possibly go bad where we do a fun Christmas Mad Lib. Oh, hell now, yeah. Now, you will both be working together on this unless I specifically say otherwise, which in this one, we won't be doing. So, our first Mad Lib here. Give me an adjective. Hmm. You can go smelly. Starting off strong. And now give me a location. South Pole? Mm, Texas. How, how specific of a location are you looking for? General location. Okay. We can go South Pole for this one. <laughs> Libertarian South Pole. <laughs> Libertarian <laughs> South Pole, please. <laughs> Give me a food. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. My alternative was cup ramen. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's takes it. I will always prioritize what's going to be funny. Oh, yeah, of course. So okay. I am going to, if it's, I'll, I'll, I'll guide you at certain points if I feel you're not getting it. Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay. Give me a body part. Oh. <laughs> left nipple. Hmm? Ju just the yeah. left one, you say? Just the left one. Is it more sensitive or is for, there like a science behind that? For some people, that, it's more sensitive. I don't think mine is, but. I know people's who are, I guess. What about the grundle? Ooh, I do like the grundle. Yeah, everyone loves a grundle. Now, what's the grunt? What's the grundle? It's the little space between your ball sack and your butthole. Mm -hmm. Also known the as I thought that was the gooch. Also known as the gooch. That is also known as the, the fleshy gooch, the fun devil's bridge. driveway. Yeah, the devil's driveway. Yep, there's a lot, lots of names. Okay, okay. Well, how about we say the grundle, <laughs> otherwise known as. <laughs> yeah, keep the whole thing the in there. The devil's driveway. Keep the whole thing in there. Was, okay. was that the one? Give me an article of clothing. Hmm. Tights. <laughs> Tights is pretty good. And now an adjective. Uh, greasy. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> that is that is very good. <laughs> good. <clears throat> Uh, I, lo I love how the more disgusting we get, the more pleased we are with ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it was so hard for me to not say penis for body parts. Oh, of course. Like, that's the show, right? It's us trying to be as creative as It's us trying to possible, not say penis. Not say penis, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, the show is built around not saying penis. <laughs> or poop. <clears throat> Give me a reasonable number. Like, None of that, Tay, this one specifically for yeah, you. Yeah. None of that stupid fucking quadrillion, like, 14 hey, hey, quadrillion. Uh, 47? Is that prime? I think it's prime. What okay. I just mean, like, I guess, I guess I, no half numbers. Don't be like, uh, 113.6798. Oh, so you're talking about real integers, not prime numbers. I hope a piano falls on you like a cartoon. <laughs> Do you want the Do you want the keys to like replace my teeth and everything? Yep, the whole shebang. <laughs> Give me something that ends in L Y. Cowardly. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. What What'd you say? Cowardly. 
Mm, not quite. Not I'm not looking either. for like an adverb. I'm just looking for something that uh, kind of like anything that ends in L-Y. Shittily. Give me a title or an honorific. Master. Oh, um. <laughs> uh, oh. we, we have to do it now. <laughs> um, Senpai? Supreme leader. Or uh, Sifu? I like Senpai. Master in this doesn't... I like Senpai. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Give me an adjective. Brown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> yep. I don't think we want to do that with the connecting... <laughs> with the connecting L-Y being oh. shittily. <laughs> <laughs> well, that also, like... All right. Um. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying the way it connects. I don't think you want to go down that route. How about loud? It's <laughs> loud hit you. Uh, let's let's. You, there's something better there. There's something better there. Uh, moist. Ooh, I like moist. All right, moist. <laughs> Give me an adverb. Quickly. One and done for that one. Give me a food. More sloppy joes. <laughs> yeah, just write more. No. You have to write the word more as well. Uh, can it's, can it we do? Got to be a different one. Got to be a different Park one. Franks. Do I do like ballpark <laughs> yes, Franks. you can. Thank you. You can do ballpark Franks. Uh, give me an exclamation ending in ing. I'm coming. <laughs> Yeah, that'll that'll certainly do it. That'll certainly do it. <laughs> now give me an animal. <laughs> Rock Lesnar. <laughs> Gotta be no, an actual breath of dying. Actual, actual animal. In any oh. other Tori, I'm on your side in any other situation. <laughs> I would allow Brock Lesnar, but this one I need a real animal. <laughs> okay. Uh, a caribou. Oh, oh God. That is oh, a very powerful God. animal. Oh, so oh. <laughs> give me a give me a number. 47. Uh, uh, we did 47. Okay. Oh. We're into prime numbers no. tonight, I see. Oh my fucking God. Give me a celebrity male. Brock Lesnar. Uh, Steve. <laughs> Steve. Oh, sorry. Okay. You know what? That's good because I'll I'll let that one since we didn't get to use Brock Lesnar earlier. Mm -hmm. I'll accept it as well. Give me a historical event. January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. I was going to say Tiananmen Square, so I think that one's better. <sighs> I want a real one that actually happens. <laughs> I feel like I feel like anyone who like listens to this show just goes like, "No, you're doing them wrong. <laughs> you're not doing Mad Libs right." But I think we do them actually the correct way to do Mad Libs. <laughs> this is the Best. right way to do it. Give me a plural noun. Gamers. Less person. Ellipticals. All right. Okay. I was like, how the fuck do you spell elliptical there for a second? <clears throat> Give me an amount of money. Eight. <laughs> Eight dollars? Dollars? Eight money. Eight money. Oh, wait, no, no. Do, uh, Sorry, eight ETH. Eight, eight ETH or like 13 yen. <laughs> like something that just makes no sense. Okay. We'll do. We'll keep this real currency, so we're not going to do ETH. So oh, we'll do the thirteen okay. yen. <laughs> no, I like. Okay, I was going to say what yen isn't a real currency. Was that that Keanu Reeves movie? Yeah. Give me a place your mom likes, other than <laughs> my cock. You know. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> fucking got him. I mean, uh, I, isn't that just the one and done? Just write Tyler's cock. <laughs> no, gotta gotta be like a. Uh, give me a place. Can, your mom I'd likes. like to buy church. I would like to buy craft room. 
Cracker Barrel. That's better. I like Cracker Barrel just knowing <laughs> Tori's mom is just like, we've got to go to the nearest Cracker Barrel. I don't think I've Now, ever this had, one, no. place you can leave it, you can do either like a very, very specific place mm-hmm. or a very, very broad place. This one doesn't matter. Okay, hot topic. The geo coordinates for the White House. Like, not just the White House, but, like, the geo coordinates for the White House, like, degrees and everything. I wouldn't say that out loud. What? It's public knowledge. No, no, I mean, like, I just don't want to, like, spend the time to say all oh, that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, specific place. Fud Ruckers? The Cheesecake um, Factory? <clears throat> Dave and Buster's. Texas. I'll give you a hint. For this one, for this one, don't go like the last one was good to have like a store, like Cracker Barrel. Mm-hmm. Think for this one, not like a store. Okay. Like this one, you can do more of like the craft room, like a place that's like a not storefront. Okay. Mm. Okay. Or like I said, you could do like a whole fucking country. Oh, you know, par- you can do very garage. general. Par- parking garage? Parking garage is fine, but I want a little, if you're gonna do parking garage just for the best outcome, I want a little bit more for it like parking garage where oh okay um the third floor of the parking garage at the mall of america indiana you're talking about what the fuck is that i think you're right how the fuck do you know that because that's that's the the one one i I always park at at. oh (laughs) okay give me a give me a plural noun gamers cox (laughs) balls even jugglers executioners i'm gonna do cocks and balls well, i like both of them so much that we'll do cocks and balls okay. had to get there eventually <laughs> give me a noun dog you say dog or doug dog okay the bounty hunter <laughs> is, is doug the bounty hunter okay, better? You- <laughs> dog yes and the bounty hunter please <laughs> <laughs> no i think honestly you know what we'll just We'll keep it at we'll keep it at dog, I guess. All right, I'll know though in my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Dog the bounty hunter. <laughs> you can take the dog yeah, out yeah. of the fight, but you can't take the bounty hunter out of the dog. That's what that that's that famous saying. I'm... <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. Look, I'm just gonna grammatically change the sentence a little bit so it can be dog the bounty hunter. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's that's what you do for Mad Libs. You change them to be the funniest they can be. Thank you for your Give service. me a catchphrase. Zooey mama. Wubba lubba dub dub. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, okay, come on. How did we both not say bazinga? That's because we did that last time we did a math lib. <laughs> That's true. Um, hey. <laughs> That's the Fonz's catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> Let's lock one down you both agree on. Zoinks? I like Zoinks. All right. What do you how do you feel about Jenkies? I like we could do that. Something in the do universe. The scuba verse. Oh, don't say that. Now it's gonna exist. Give me me some life advice. Some good life advice. Uh drink till your dick don't work. (laughs) (laughs) Um Always have a shovel in your car for wintertime. A bird, a bird that fell in a bird in the bush is worth two on the streets. That, that's not okay. <laughs> I've already written down drink till your dick don't work. <laughs> <Okay>. so. <laughs> uh, give me an adjective. Brown. Blue. <laughs> mm, you can do better. Wet. Sopping. <laughs> Musky. <laughs> I'll do sopping wet. Now give me something you think Santa might say. I don't feel comfortable saying it. <laughs> <laughs> How old are they? <laughs> Just the word oral. <laughs> go. Wait, I mean, I was going to say go to bed kid but that sounds really creepy Mm -hmm. but like he would tell if he's out there you know yeah 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 he would say go to bed little 
boy. Mm-hmm. Something something Santa would or would not say. Would, would. Would. You know what? That's good. I think Santa would say that. Now give me, finally, a verb ending in ing. Recording. I just have a feeling that's not going to be in a good context at all. <laughs> I hope so. That works. <laughs> I really right, don't like the devious smile that crept across your face as you were reading that. <clears throat> all right. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is... I'm going to quickly throw this together, and then we're going to hang up the call, and then I will come back in five minutes, and we will have our Mad Lib. Five minutes later. Good evening, everyone. Got a little story I want to tell you (laughs) about Christmas. The fuck? A smelly cabin in beautiful, remote, libertarian South Pole. Tori and Tay are roasting sloppy joes on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at their grundles, otherwise known as the devil's driveway. Lying by the fire, wearing only their tights. Yeah, you could call this a greasy Christmas. As they're about to finish their 47th Sloppy Joe, they hear a rap tap tap on the door. Who could it possibly be that made their way this far to Libertarian South Pole? Ho, ho, ho. It's really him. The shittily jolly senpai of Christmas himself. The moist Santa Claus. He quickly kicks down the door. Santa! They both exclaim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Look, I ate a considerable amount of ballpark franks tonight. Where is the bathroom? After 30 minutes of coming like a caribou and 17 flushes, Santa finally comes out of the bathroom. Jesus Christ and his real father, Brock Lesnar. I haven't had the squirts like that since January 6th. Anyway, thanks for letting me use the John. In return, here's two ellipticals and a 13 yen gift card to the Cracker Barrel. Now don't mind me. I'm off to the Mall of America parking garage to put my cock and balls inside Dog the Bounty Hunter. (laughs) Woof woof. Will we ever see you again, Santa? They ask. Well, sure. As long as you jinkies and drink till your dick don't work, (laughs) then I'll still bring you sopping wet Christmas gifts. Ho, 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 and go back to bed, kid. Tori and Tay go back to recording by the fire. did you put that together so fast what the shit yeah. <laughs> that's beautiful that's, that's all pre-prepared that's that's also, pre-prepared also how the fuck did you not lose your goddamn mind at the line read of i have to go put my cock and balls and dick and dug the bounty under i had to redo that one <laughs> that was that a great one, one. <laughs> that one i fucked up but i had to redo i have to put oh my, my cock and balls God. inside <laughs> inside dog the bounty hunter <laughs> All right, we got another one. We won't do the whole song and dance for it. It'll be in the episode, but I'll just read it for you. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. J- but just so you understand the vibe of... <laughs> yeah, the sort of smoke room jazz we're going for. Uh, uh, yeah, I did, have to, I did have to re-record Dog the Bounty Hunt. Put his Santa putting his cock and balls... <laughs> It's funny because Dog the Bounty Hunter would be an incredibly difficult man to enter. He's just so solid. (laughs) Holy shit. All right. Another Mad Lib. Here we go. Give me an adjective. Humongous. Ooh, I really like that one. That is good. Give me a 
Verb ending in ing. Humping. Sailing. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go with humping. Okay, that's fair. Because I was gonna say, or I will also accept like a more expletive one. Then humping just got it there. <laughs> Give me a plural noun. Dicks. <laughs> All right. All right. We used it early. Can't use it again. Yep. Got to get it out of the way soon enough, right? All right. Give me a letter. M. Give me another letter. J. And give me a number. Six. Give me a publication. Uh, the New York Times. How about a real one, like Infowars? <laughs> hey, yo. I would have said Penguin Books. but That's a publisher, not a publication. What, Tori's just supposed to know everything? <laughs> it It's not an everything thing. It's just, that's what it is. You sound ridiculous. Make an outlandish claim. They're putting chemicals in the water that are turning the frickin' frogs gay. I'm more, actually, more of, more of an outlandish claim that's like, if you were like the slap chop guy, like, mm, it, okay. it'll make your life a billion times easier. You know, like, got it. Uh, something along that lines. Cut your commute in half. It'll make your divorce pass smoothly. <laughs> okay. I like that. It's it's definitely outlandish. <laughs> Give me an adjective. Cool. Give me another adjective. Obscenely hairy. And give me a location. This one more like Detroit. You know? Or fu you know what actually? Whatever you think is funny. Old London town. Ye old London town. Yeah, that one. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say it in like a ye old London town. You have Please to. Please do. I also added an e at the end of town. Of course. Gotta. Give me an adjective ending in ed. Cucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Got it. Yep. One. And give me a type of alcoholic drink. Soju. Mm. Wait, Jaeger bomb. <laughs> there, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. a good one. All right, give me two celebrities: Kirsten Dunst and, and Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden. <laughs> Tyler Durden is a character. Tyler Durden not is a, a fictional celebrity. character. I don't know, but uh, let's go with Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> and two more celebrities: Alex Jones. And mm. yeah, he's been in a couple movies. Beyonce. Yep. Wait. All right. Could we switch it to Queen B? Of course. Same person, just a slightly, you know, just a little polish on the more honorific. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a plural noun. Is this the time for gamers? No. Okay. Golf carts. Golf carts. Give me a verb. Run. I didn't say that with a lot of confidence. No, you didn't. You didn't. I don't even think you want run. I, I like tackle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I like tackle. <laughs> I'm also just realizing now that Tyler wrote these bad lips too. <laughs> yeah, right. This was like a three month endeavor. <laughs> Give me a plural noun. Is now the time for gamers. <laughs> God damn it. Dave. I can make it work. Okay. Okay. If not that, governors. <laughs> Legislators. Legions of gamers. Good. Give me a place. Tay, this, oh, also, these ones, that's why you get gamers, is because these ones, these are yours, Tay. Oh, okay. Give me a place, Tay. How specific? I'll guide you if you don't. Think of the funniest thing first, and then I'll guide you if it doesn't work. A holiday gas station. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Give me a holiday. What? Where is this holiday gas station in in the world? Uh, Oklahoma. <laughs> Tay, mm -hmm. you picking up or you putting down? Definitely putting down. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh no! <laughs> right. Give me an animal. <laughs> Frogless. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, a fox. Tay. Naughty or nice? 
naughty. <clears throat> All right, Tori, these ones are yours. Okay. Give me an adjective. Lackluster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will let you know, though, this is another one of those things where you said it, not me. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. All right. Hell yeah. Tori, give me a plural noun. Gamers. <laughs> Stop, hey, shut up. <laughs> I'll do governors. Less person with this one. Okay. Battleships. <laughs> like the game or like? Or no, like... I mean ships of war. <laughs> <laughs> Warships, okay. <laughs> Give me a verb ending with I-N-G. Trudging. Wait. Mm, you can do better. Frolicking? Frolicking works. Uh, Tori, you picking up or you putting down? Picking up. And naughty or nice? Nice. All right, now both of you can come back. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, I just, I just remembered. How <laughs> I just remembered <laughs> about the Jaeger bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about the Jaeger bomb. Uh, Jaeger bomb. <clears throat> give me a noun. Again, not, this one is less person. This is like a more thing noun. Mm, okay. Uh, a solid state hard drive. Let's think of another one. Okay. A mountain. Mm, think of a thing you can have on you, perhaps. A cuckold chastity cage. <laughs> okay, you, we're, we're wait, closer with that. Hold on, do you have one? Do I have one? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. It's also plural. I don't know, I don't know, if, I don't know if you have oh, plural in your so, possession. Sorry, toy. sorry, sorry. Cuckold chastity. Chastity cages. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Did that one work or not? Are we wait? Are you waiting on us? Yeah. Uh, give me an insult. You. W I. I just had to type cuckold chastity cages. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Sorry, I gave you a mouthful. <laughs> uh, give me an insult. You would call someone. Nin nincompoop. It's good. F give me a way better insult. Give me a way better one. Like in terms of severity, just or just cleverness? just throw out something, just just you slack fucking... jawed weeb. Yeah, there we go. Dip shit loser. Not can we, can we nice. do a com Can we really quick? Can we do a combo of dip shit weeb? Yeah, I I I added both of those. Oh okay. Oh okay. Uh, naughty or nice? Naughty. All right, and. Give me a physical adjective for a person. Like an adjective for, but for a person. Oh, muscular? <laughs> okay. Childbearing? <laughs> girthy? I like girthy. Okay. Is it girthy oh, or no. rotund? Oh, no. Give me, give me a number. 32. All right. <clears throat> this one is... Naughty or nice? <clears throat> All right, folks, they're letting me play one last horny song for y'all. Merry Christmas. It's that humongous time of year again. <laughs> Snow is falling. Children are humping now that school is out. And dicks are hung from every door. <laughs> Parents are buying their kids the MJ6, the hottest new toy. The New York Times says it's capable of making your divorce way easier. <laughs> But Santa's job is different. Santa can't just give every old cool boy and girl an MJ6 for Christmas. He has to determine if they've been naughty or nice. We find ourselves now at Santa's obscenely hairy distribution warehouse in ye old London town. 
It's here we find Santa doing final preparations on the list, checking it twice. He looks cocked and smells of Jaeger bombs. All right. For nice, we have Steve Buscemi and Kirsten Dunst. And naughty, we have Alex Jones and Beyonce, the Queen Bee herself. In the background, we see elves frantically peeing into factory-issued golf carts because Santa will tackle them if they take more than a five-minute break, as he should. Last three on the list now. First, Tay. Well, Santa thinks, she did send legions of gamers to underprivileged children at holiday gas stations in Oklahoma. And she did also put down stray foxes. Oh my God. Therefore, naughty list. Now for Tori. What did that lackluster boy get up to this year? Looks like he stocked the local food pantry with battleships, volunteered by frolicking with inmates at the prison, and picked up trash on the highway. So, nice. Finally, Tyler. Tricky. He stole cuckold chastity cages from the homeless, but they did steal it first. <laughs> there was also that thing with calling patients at the children's hospital slack-jawed weeaboos and dipshit losers. <laughs> Fuck it. Naughty list. Well, that about does it, says Santa. All done. Time to get girthy after 32 more Jaeger bombs. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, beautiful. Fuck, dude, give yourself a round of applause. Dude, that was, so that good. was phenomenal. Fuck. Holy shit. Santa's Jaeger bomb. Jaeger bomb. Hey, guys, bring me another yeg. He fucking tackles an elf on the factory floor. Why are you flinching? Why are you flinching? <laughs> Name 10 candy bars. Name 10 candy bars. And you know what else should black out? This show. So thank you for listening. Go ahead and leave us a like, favorite, comment, and or review. Helps us get in curated lists. And you know what? It helps us beat that algorithm to fucking death. And if you want to join in the discourse, you can join our Discord by looking at the description of wherever you're listening to the show. You can also go over to youtube.com slash shapelessmedia, which is the corresponding YouTube channel with this very show. You can find every single episode along with hundreds of other videos from our past. We've now reached the final point of the episode where you can just say whatever you want. It's a baseless claim. It doesn't matter. There's no legal repercussions for what you can say. It's just, you just say it and that's it. I mean, we're all thinking it. Alex Jones' game of the year. Is hot. Oh. Uh, fuck. Alex yeah, Jones. You... I honestly, I wouldn't. Hey, I wouldn't mind eating a few sloppy joes from that boy's stomach. What the fuck? The, okay, okay. I hate Alex Jones, but I bet he can make a mean sloppy joe. I fully agree. I know what you mean because it's just like looking at him. It's like he'd yeah. prepare it with manwich probably, but he somehow can elevate it. Like somehow. Yeah, like it's 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 like that in chili. I am just positive he makes killer versions of. Oh my god, you. You're so right. Was he at yeah. January 6th, the Capitol riot? Yeah, he fucking he started there? it. Well, no, but was he physically present? Yes. He okay. led the, he bullhorned them down from Trump's speech to the fucking, white, or what? to the uh, Capitol. I was just wondering, like, if he, like, if he had, like, brought chili there. Like, if it was, like, a chili cook-a-thon and January 6th. <laughs> oh. ended up. Because, well, Tori, here's what happened. The Patriots weren't trying to rush the building to take it over or anything. It's just they that. had Alex Jones's chili, and they were all rushing to the nearest bathroom because they're like, fuck, this is mm. going down real bad. See, I was going to say that they wanted to share it so bad that they broke into Pelosi's office to leave her a bowl mm -hmm. of her You in have got to try this chili, Nancy. <laughs> 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 Nancy Where is Mike Pence? Blow your fucking mind apart. We want to give Mike Pence. We still might kill Mike Pence, but we do want to give him the option to have this chili first. It's 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 honestly the best final meal you could ever have. Yeah.